on a frigid October morning in 2007, while students were fortunately on fall break, firefighters from mounds and several surrounding communities battled in vain to save the elementary school. The fire totally destroyed the building uh, right to the ground. Uh, there was nothing left out of the building. I thought it was very sad because I liked my old school. An investigation revealed the inferno was accidentally sparked by an electrical problem in the gym. But as they say around here, good things come out of bad. Because the old school burned to the ground, Mounds was able to build a brand new one from the ground up, a high-tech elementary school to replace the one it lost. Most of the $3.5 million price tag was covered by insurance. A bond issue picked up the rest. This building has uh, 15 classrooms. It has a gym, a brand new gym with, uh, it's more of a multi-purpose, but we also have storm shelter uh, that is built in. It holds 350 students. We never had that in the old building. The safe room area is actually divided into three separate rooms. The girls changing room, the boys changing room, and the computer lab. That allows quick access to a storm shelter from any classroom in the building. And it means the safe rooms aren't wasted space when they aren't being used as storm shelters. Like many islands, animals, the... But the feature that's most impressing teachers and students alike is this gadget. It's called a smart board. There's one in every classroom. <laughs> it's just one of the best things I've ever taught with since I've been teaching. A smart board is an interactive touch screen that works with a computer. You can download some things off the internet. You can also make your own programs. And it's like having a giant television for the students to interact with. These students are using it for an interactive geography lesson, while next door, they're using it to learn about ecosystems. When the lessons are done, this new building has one more feature impressing students. It's a place to put their personal belongings, like backpacks. We actually get lockers because last in the portables, we didn't get lockers. We just had to put them on the back of our chairs. In Mounds, I'm Kathy Tatum, the Oklahoma News Report.